What's going on guys? My name is Chris Fabregas. I'm a photographer from Seattle, Washington. Want to know how to get your photos featured on TV? Then watch episode three of the CFAB Minute. All right, we've all seen the local news. The weather comes on and they feature a beautiful picture by a local photographer. Today, I'm gonna to talk to two amazing meteorologists from King 5 News in Seattle. They're gonna tell you exactly what they're looking for when featuring a photograph and where to submit it. So stay tuned for this amazing call with Craig Herrera and Jordan Wilkerson. Thank you so much for being here, hanging out with me on the CFAP Minute. Let's get into it. Why don't we introduce yourselves to the people that don't know you. Uh, Jordan, let's start with you. Okay, I'm Jordan Wilkerson. I'm a meteorologist and a traffic anchor at King 5. Right now, I'm only doing weather on the weekends, so um, putting you know pictures on on TV would probably be limited to the weekend for me specifically, but I definitely love to show the beautiful scenery around uh, Western Washington and what you guys have to offer. But yeah, having fun at King 5. And I'm Craig Herrera, also a meteorologist at King 5, and uh, I'm usually there on the evenings, Monday through Friday. Always looking for great photos and uh, so many talented people out there. We've got a great team and uh, it's it's fun to share your photos because you also help tell help us tell the weather story in many many cases. So we all know that we you know especially during the weather we watch the local news and you guys usually feature a local artist a local photographer. What are some of the things that you look for in a photograph? Like do you look for maybe a landscape picture, a vertical picture? Um, is it more a city or you know do you look for a picture out in the wilderness? What could we do to submit the perfect picture to you guys? I prefer landscape, obviously. I think we all probably would because the way that our graphics are, they're more of a horizontal friendly, um, you know, kind of situation. But um, I love more of the wilderness type of stuff. So if you're catering to me, that's, you know, any sort of wilderness, nature, that kind of thing. Obviously, the skyscrapers and, you know, overlooking Elliott Bay, that's all beautiful. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't pick a picture like that. But if I had to choose between the two, I would probably pick more nature scene. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, good call, and I'm the same with Jordan. Um, when you think of television, you think you're looking at it horizontally, right? So that's the type of photo we look for as opposed to a vertical, which so many of us do for social media. Uh, so for TV, we do prefer the horizontal. Um, and when it comes to photos, I, I'm kind of whatever. If it was a beautiful sunset, give me your sunsets. If it was snowing and there's kids slowing down, uh, slowing down hill in Seattle, then send that to us. Whatever helps us tell the weather story for that day. If there's hail or sleet in your neighborhood, let us know. I also love the uh, the beautiful pictures. So if there's nothing going on with weather, like snow, rain, hail, wind, whatever, then I'm kind of with Jordan where I love to see the beautiful shots because we have so many beautiful places and so many talented photographers, amateur and professional. And that's what we're looking for is the beauty, just to kind of highlight the beauty that is the Pacific Northwest. Awesome. And I'll add to that really quickly. Sometimes I think if it's oversaturated, it's a little too harsh for TV yeah. sometimes. Great for social media, right. but I will not pick a picture for TV if it is just really out there bright and just all the crazy colors. I mean, that's absolutely beautiful, but I think it's lost in translation yeah. over the over the TV. For sure, makes sense. Okay, let's say we take the, the, be the best picture ever. It's a landscape picture. And um, <laughs> where would we submit it? Would we do we go to uh, Instagram, Twitter, your email? How could we get our picture in front of you guys so you can see it? You wanna go first, Craig? Um, sure, we always have a hashtag for the season, which is K5 winter, K5 summer, K5 spring, K5 fall. But the easiest would also be to just do K5 weather and we'll look for it there. You can also tag us um, and we each have our own Instagram and Twitter handles. Or you can also email us and it's the first initial of our first name and our last name. So it would be C Herrera at king5.com. Okay. But we're always Wilkerson looking for them. King5.com, well. yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> And Jordan, Wait, the same for you, just- Yeah, to... I would, you know, I'm big on social media. So if you re reach out to me on social media, you're likely to get a response unless I'm super busy. And if that is the case, if let's say you found what you think is the perfect photo and you think that I would love it, then go ahead and email me, you know, the, the first initial of your first name and then your last name, jwilkerson at king5.com, because then it's directly to us. And sometimes when you do direct messages on Instagram or on Twitter, sometimes it, it gets lost. 
Um, but yeah, if you tag us though, that's good too, because then we can do a retreat. We wow, <laughs> retreat. I, I swear I do this for a living. Yeah. Um, and even on Instagram, you know, I love when people tag me in their stories because yeah. Instagram allows you to just immediately share it to your story. And I don't know. So for the younger audience, I think that's a cool option. Yeah. Awesome. Totally. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. That was great information. So Yay. I know a lot of people Yay. will be able to use that. So thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for all you do. We appreciate yes. it. Yeah, we love great... seeing all the beautiful pictures. Oh, thank yes. you. And keep up the great work, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hopefully you found it helpful and can use it when submitting to your local news station. If you guys do get featured, I'd love to see it. So make sure to tag me at Chris Fabregas and I'll check it out. Huge shout out to Craig Herrera and Jordan Wilkerson from King 5 News in Seattle. Thank you so much for your time. They also wanted to let you know that they don't play favorites. So they try to feature as many different people as possible. So make sure to submit your pictures to King 5 or your local news station. Take care guys, bye.